Hello, my name is John White. As you remember, we do the Mayan cosmic number puzzles. This puzzle was completed in a previous video. It is a seven row by seven column, a seven by seven as we call it. What we're going to do today is we're going to change these numbers, the Arabic numbers, into Maya numbers. And then we're going to solve the puzzle. So we wanted you to see the numbers first in Arabic. These puzzles were originally found in the Maya pyramids in southern Mexico in the late 1940s of the last century. We're going to change these numbers into Mayan numbers. And when we do that, we're going to try to solve the puzzle. Today I want to show you how to play the Mayan cosmic number puzzles. But this time we're actually using Mayan numbers. The Mayan numbers are composed of a bar, which represents five, as in this case here. And the dots represent a one. And in this case, since you have three, it will be three. So you have one, two, three, that is a three. In this case, you have four, one, two, three, four, that represents the four. In this case down here, you have two, so that represents two. With the bar in front of it, and two, that would make seven. Here, there's only one dot, so that is a one, and a five, which makes six. In this puzzle, we have the numbers from three to nine. This is a seven by seven puzzle, and the other seven by seven puzzles can have numbers from zero to six, from one to seven, from two to eight, and from three to nine. That is this type of puzzle that we have here. Each puzzle has a difficulty level represented by the character, the Mayan spirit, Sapaknu. We have a time and a date. In this puzzle, we are looking for the column or column or the row that has the least amount of spaces that are vacant. In this case, there are in this column there are two spots. In this column there are three, so obviously this column here is easier to solve for. This column has two, it makes it an easy place to solve for. So we're going to start, let's start with this column here, the third column. And we have a four, a three, a nine, seven, and a six. We are missing a five and an eight. When we look across our rows, there is no five or an eight in this position on the right side. There is no five or an eight in this position. So that means that we are left with just putting some notation down till we come up with our five or an eight. Then, on the left side, we have a 6, a 9, an 8, a 5, and a 3. We're missing 
a 7 and a 4. When we look on the left side of the rows, we have a 3, a 9, an 8, and a 6. There's no 7 or 4 in that row. We have we have a 7 here and we have a 6 here. So if we have a 7 in this position here, that means that this position here cannot have a 7, so the 7 must be up here. So we include the 7. If the 7 is here, then this can only be a 4. If we look around on the puzzle, see if we have a 45 or a 48. We notice that we do have a 45. Here is the 4 and here is the 5. 45. So if we have a 45 here, it means that 45 cannot go here. So this must become a 48. If this is the 8, then this has to be the 5. That does solve this column. Now, we will move on to another row or column. Let's try to solve for this row here. On the right side, we have an 8, we have a 5, we have a 6, we have a 9, and we have a 4. We are missing a 3 and a 7. When we look in this column, we see that we have a 7. So that means a 7 could not go here, it must be a 3. If the 3 is here, And this must be the 7. Now, if we solve for the left side, we see that we have an 8, we have a 6, we have a 3, we have a 5, and we have a 4. We are missing a 7 and a 9. If we look in this column, we have a 3, we have a 9. So if we have a 9 here, that means the 9 could not go here. That means it only can be a 7.
If a 7 is here, that means that only a 9 can go in this position. That solves for this row. Now, we will look around and see what else we can solve for. This column has only two spots. Let's solve for it next. On the right side, we have a 6, we have a 4, we have a 9, we have an 8, and we have a 7. We are missing a 3 and a 5. If we check, we see that we do not have on the right side of each square. We have a 7, we have a 4. We have a 9, a 7, and a 4. So we do not have a 5 or a 3. So let's put a notation here that those two numbers are the ones that we can have. Now let's look for on the left side. We have a 5, we have a 3, we have a 6, we have an 8, and we have a 7. We are missing both the 4 and the 9. So if we look on the left side of this row, we have a set 8, we have a 6, and we have a 3. Nothing that fits. We're looking for a 4 or a 9. We have an 8, we have a 3, and we have a 5. So again, we do not have either number. So let's put down the notation. Over. Again, we see that if we do some elimination, there is a, a 4 and a 5, and here is the 45. So we know that there cannot be a 45 in this position or in this position. Let's try to solve for another position in the puzzle. In this row, we are missing only two spots, so let's try to solve for it next. In the right side, we have a 9, we have a 3, we have a 7, we have an 8, and a 5. We are missing both 4 and a 6. So if we look in this column, we have an 8, a 7. We do have a 6 here. So that means the 6 could not go here. That leaves only the 4. If the 4 is here, that means in this position here, there can only be a 6. Solving for the left side of this row, we see that we have a 6, a 3, a 5, a 9, a 4. So we are missing both the 7 and 8. When we look in this column, we see that we have a 3, a 4, a 9, a 5. So that doesn't help us. In this column here, we see that we have a 6. That does not help us. So, we 
we need to see if we have, we have two possibilities. We have the, we have the possibility of a 74, or we have the possibility, next we're going to solve for the left side of this row. We see that we have a 6, a 3, a 5, a 9, and a 4. We're missing both the 7 and the 8. When we look in this column, we have a 3, a 4, a 9, and a 5. That does not help us. And when we look in this column here, we see we have a 6 and a 4, which still does not help us. So we will put down that we will either need a, a 8 or a 7 in this position, a 7 or an 8. And over here, we will put the notation a 7 or an 8. And we will do that in Arabic. Next, we will solve for this column. Even though that we do not have the left side filled out, we can still solve for a right side. In this case, in this column, we have an 8, a 7, a 6, a 4, and a 9. We are missing both the 3 and the 5. When we look on this row, the 9, the 7, or the 4 do not help us. When we look, the 7, the 8, or the 6 do not help us. So we leave it that we have a 3 or a 5 in this position, a 3 or 5 in this position. Let's go to another place that may be easier to solve. Let's try to solve for this row. In this row on the right side we have a 4, we have a 5, we have a 6, we have a 3, and we have a 7. We're missing both the 8 and the 9. Next we're going to solve for this row. We see that we have a 4, a 5, a 6, a 3, and a 2. We're both missing the 8 and the 9. When we check this column here, we see that we have a 7. We do have a 9 here, so the 9 cannot go in this position, only an 8. If the 8 goes here, then the only place that the 9 can go would be this location here. Solving for the left side of this row, we see that we have a 3. We have a 7, we have the 9, we have an 8, and we have a 6. We are missing both the 5 and the 4. When we look in the left side of this column, we see that we have an 8, a 7, a 3, and a 6. That does not help us. And When we look in 
This column here, we see that we have a 3, a 9, a 7, and a 6. And that does not help us. So we will mark it that we are looking for both a 5 or the 4, and a 5 or 4 in this position. When looking around on the board for numbers, we notice that we're looking for a 59 or 49. In this position here, we see that we have a 5 and a 9, a 59. So if there's a 59 here, it cannot be a 59 here. So it must be a 4. If the 4 goes here, that means the 5 must go here. That solves this row. We look around to see what else that we can solve for. Next, we'll pick this column here and see what happens. On the right side, we see that we have 7, a 9, an 8, a 3, and a 5. We're missing both 4 and 6. When we look across this row, the 9, the 7, and the 4 do not help us. Well, in this case, since there is a 4 here, there could, not be, there could not be a 4 in this position. So that means that this must be the 6. If this is a 6, then this must be the 4. Then for the left side of this column, we see that we have an 8, a 7, a 5, a 3, and a 6. We're missing the 9 and the 4. When we look across this column, this row, we see that we have an 8, a 3, and a 5. And when we look at this row, we see that we have a 7, a 4, and a 6. That does not help us. So we will either have a 49 or a 4 or a 9 in this position here. If we look around on the board for other numbers that may help us, we notice that we're looking for a 44 or a 94. In this case here, we find a 4 and a 4, the 44. So if the 44 is here, it cannot be here. So that means that in this position here, we have a 9. If we have the 9 here, that means the 4 must go here. If our 4 goes here, 
then the 4 cannot go in this position here. It must be a 9. If the 9 is here, then the 4 must be up here. If the 9 is in this position here, that means the 4 has to be up in this position here. We were looking for both a 43 or a 45, and if we notice that in this position here is a 45, so there cannot be a 45 in this position here, so this must be the 43. If 3 is in this position here, cannot be here, so that leaves us only a 5. Now we have this column solved, we have this column solved, we have this column solved. So now we look around and see what else we can solve. Let's try to solve for this row and finish it out. See what other numbers we may need. On the right side we see that we have a 5, a 6, a 9, a 7, and a 4. We're missing the 8 and the 3. When we look around, we see that we have the 8 here, so that means it only can be a 3. If the 3 is in this position, then that leaves only the 8 for this position over here. Solving for the left side of this row, we see that we have a 9, we have a 4, we have an 8, we have a 3, we have a 5. We are most missing both the 6 and the 7. When we look in this column, we see we have a 3, a 4, a 9, or a 5. That does not help us. When we look in this column here, we see that we have a 6 and a 4. That does not help us. So, we go to another position. We might look around and see if we have numbers that will fill in on the rest of the puzzle somewhere that will help us to solve for this, this row. We would be looking for a 68 or a 78 a 63 or a 73. When solving for, on this row, the left side 
numbers, we see that we have a 9, a 4, an 8, a 3, 5. So we are missing a 6 and a 7. When we check around on the board, we see that we have a 73 here. So this means that the 6 must go here and the 7 here. If the 7 goes here, that means that only an 8 can go here. If the 8 goes here, that means only a 7 can go in this position here. If the 7 goes in that position, that leaves only the 8 in this position. That solves that column. Now, if we solve for this row, on the right side we see we have a 7, a 4, an 8, a 5, a 6. That means that we are missing a 9 and a 3. If we look in this position here, we see we have a 7, a 5, a 3, and a 4. Well, if there is a 3 here, that means a 3 cannot go here, only a 9. If the 9 is in this position here, that leaves us only a 3 in this position here. Then solving this row for the left side, we see that we have a 7, a 9, a 4, an 8, a 6, so we're missing both the 3 and the 5. If we look in this column here, we see that we have the 5 here, so we cannot have the 5 here. That means only the 3 can go here and the 5 must go here. Then we can solve for this column, this column, or this column. 
They all have only two spots available. So we will go and solve for this column first. On the right side, we have a 7, a 9, an 8, a 3, and a 6. That means that we are missing both the 5 and the 4. If we look on the right side of this row, we see that we have a 6, a 9, a 3, and a 7. That does not help us. We have a 3, a 7, a 4, and a 8. This 4 means that a 4 cannot go in this position here. So only a 5 could go here. If a 5 can only go there, that means that a 4 is left for this position here. Solving for the column here, for the left side, we have a 3, we have a 4, we have a 9, we have a 7, and a 6. That means that we are missing both the 5 and the 8. When we look on this row to check to see what numbers we can use, we have a 4, an 8. So if we have an 8 in this position, that means we cannot have an 8 here. The 8 must be down in this position. If the 8 is here, that leaves us only with a 5 for this position. Next we'll solve for this column. On the right side we have a 4, we have a 3, we have a 5, a 7, and a 9. We are missing both the 6 and the 8. When we look across this row, we have a 3, a 7, a 4, an 8, and a 5. That does not help us. We have a 6 in this position here. So if we have a 6 on the ear, we cannot have it here. It must go above. If we have the 6 in this position, that means the only position left is for the 8 is, is here. Solving for the left side of this column, we have a 5, we have an 8, a 4, a 9 and a 3. That leaves us with a 7 and a 6 that are missing. When we check across for the rows, we have a 4, we have a 8, we have a 6 in this position here. So if we have the 6 here, a 6 cannot go here. It must go here. If the 6 goes in this position, that leaves us only with a 7 in that position. That leaves us with the final column. On the right side, we have an 8, we have a 7, we have a 6, we have a 4, and a 3. We're missing both a 5 and we're missing a 9. So if we check across the rows, we have a 6, we have a 9 here. So if a 9 is in this position, a 9 does not go here, we go above.
if the 9 is here, then this position here can only be at the 5. If we solve for the left side of this column, we see that we have 7, 6, an 8, a 4, and a 5. That means that we are missing a 3 and a 9. If we look across here, we have a 4, we have an 8, 6, a 3. So if we have a 3 in this position here, that means the 3 cannot go here, it must go here. If we have a 3 in this position here, that only leaves the 9 for this position above. That completes the Mayan cosmic number puzzle, 7 by 7, using the Mayan numbers. You can check your puzzle by saying that when you add up the numbers, we started this puzzle with 3 to 9. So here's your 3, 4, 5, a 6, 7, 8, and a 9. You can do that for both all the rows and all the columns. This puzzle has a difficulty level of 1 represented by the face of Zapaknu, the Mayan spirit. We have the time and we have the date for you to record. Down here is the serial number to keep each puzzle separate. Hopefully you will go to Google Play and buy the Mayan Cosmic Number Puzzles. We hope to have the puzzles in the Mayan Numbers for you available. Thank you for your time.